Shout outs to the citizens of Jomalia for providing all of these awesome questions. We got another one today from Alessandra Sabrina Macias Pinili. I hope I said that right. Wow. That, she must be Filipino, right? Yeah. Sure, it. Or Mexican. Sounds like it. Do they have four first Pinili? names like that? Well, we have the mom last name and then the dad last name. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. It could be They multiple. combine it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, she asks, has any of you guys ever experienced unfair treatment between you and your siblings? What? Does it yeah. get better? Mm -hmm. If not, are you just supposed to accept it and how? You know what? It's a blessing in disguise. Though. Are you the favorite? Are you the favorite? What's going on? Hell no. I'm the favorite. That's why I don't get I, I'm not the favorite, but I tell myself I'm the favorite so that I can fucking cope with that well, shit. Well, you're the middle, right? <laughs> Who do you think is the favorite in your family? Uh, so my mom definitely loves my brother. Like, that's her really? What is it with moms and brothers? I, I mean, moms and their moms? sons? Yeah. Moms and sons yeah. have some type moms. of connection, It's, it's different than yeah. moms and daughters. And I felt like my dad really favored my little sister, but I put it in my own head that I'm both their fucking favorite. <laughs> I feel like I'm the f more f better one now, the favorite. <laughs> but before it wasn't, because I had the worst grade. But I like your brother better. <laughs> you, you, know, you met him like once. No, he's really cool. I like your brother Wait, better. Wait, you have an older or younger I brother? Have an older brother, younger sister, right? So I was middle. So then my younger sister, obviously, like, the, she got everything she wanted. Yeah, he's little brat, girl. You know? Uh, my older brother had to do everything first, so I had secondhand things and, like, had to, like, my brother already did it, and then I, I have to do it too, you know? So it's like um, all those different things. So I definitely got treated unfairly I feel like sometimes like, my brother got it's like not stuff that's so bad but like my brother got to do things I was like how come I can't do that he's like he's older he's this and Aww. stuff like that um so I get it but I don't know how to deal with it <laughs> you're still dealing with, with it today so now it's because I, I'm making more money than all of them I'm pushing my career oh, and stuff right. like that get the highlight yeah which they're, they're not doing yeah, anything bad if they're watching it. Um, I had more freedoms than my sister, so I just made fun of her all the time. What a shithead! I would hate you. I was the only boy in the family, so I could go out, I could loiter, yep. I could go in the back alley with my oh, friends, fuck so around. Unfair. She wasn't allowed to have any sleepovers. Yeah. I had sleepovers all the time. Same. Oh, yeah. Same. My, and my sister couldn't go traveling, and I, I like went to Utah with my friends one time, <laughs> like alone. That's so fucked up. Good. Your sister wanted sleepover parties at your house, and other girls couldn't come. She couldn't go sleep over at her friend's house or anything like that. Or she couldn't yeah, stay out couldn't all night. And she's she was older than me. She was two years older than me, but I had way more freedom. Uh, that's 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 my sister was literally one million times more responsible than me, and she still wasn't allowed to go like on a camping what? trip with her friends. That's exactly how it was. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that is? Is it like fear of get, getting pregnant or yeah. like well, something getting raped? For me, it's like and getting or fucking in general. My parents didn't want anyone fucking at all. Like you're the, like my brother can get a girl pregnant. Like my like yeah. why yeah. is he allowed to do? Well, so that, but then for me, like uh, what you're saying, I wouldn't for like. Both, I would try to treat equally if I had yeah. a boy and a girl, right? Let them do, I would reserve the boy back. So like Steve, like pull him back, right? Cause then there's other guys that would do harm to the girl. Not my, the, the, his sister doing anything wrong, mm -hmm. but some other guy doing something stupid to his sister. Oh, don't pull me back. Huh? Don't yeah. pull me back. Plus you got worse grades. That was the thing, my, my brother had a C average. Like when he got a C, the family celebrated. I got punished for getting a B one. Cause they think he's dumb. Yeah, true. So they're like, I he know. got a C, bro. And you know what? I will say he turned Very out to be pretty coddled. dumb. <laughs> but they're probably like, oh, you're a boy. You're gonna do good no matter what. I don't know. Uh, I think because he played baseball, so he was an athlete, or and he played football. Uh, and so my dad was a baseball player, play. and so my dad would like coach him and stuff. And so it was like, as long as his athletics were really good, like everything was cool. But his grades were slipping a lot. And then I was a straight A student. So when I got a B, I got in trouble. You guys like the NCAA? <laughs> what? He's like, I'm. I as long as you're doing good at sports, we don't give a fuck. Basically, yeah. and like you only have to get good enough grades to continue in an athletic program at a college, right? So I feel like sometimes and he was allowed the... to have girls in his room. I wasn't allowed to have any people in my room ever, even with the door open. The less. Um... The less trouble you give the parents, though, the more invisible you are, but the more they like you because you don't give them any fucking trouble. Mm -hmm. But they have to give more attention to the one that's going to be a handful. You should uh, um, send, like, random mail that you forge or make about how bad your brother is and, like, getting in trouble. <laughs> so they reserve him and then good ones about you. You know what I realized, though, is that my sister was definitely my parents' favorite because they were trying to protect her and not me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was it. Oh my God, is that it's what it a, is? It's a, it's a world breaker right there. What she should do is uh, just, like you said, fly under the radar, uh, save her money, invest in coin, make hella money, uh, dip out. 
<laughs> I have her freedom. Investing Peace. <laughs> I'm rich. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with it. I fucking I fought so hard. I think my I'm a dad's Well, maybe favorite she's now. doing something wrong. She could be whoever's asking You'll the question. You'll get more attention that way. She no, I mean maybe she is a bad kid and oh. they're punishing her and she just sees that as wrong. Because so I, I didn't see everything properly on why my parents were punishing me. Mm. I was fucking up, so that's why. But I, in the moment, I was like, why are they doing this to me? You know. Oh. I feel like favorites do exist though. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I, I think I we're gonna have do. favorites for sure. We have favorites <laughs> with our cat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I was about to say that. <laughs> I, by the way, Nikki, do you think that your dad, because you're your dad's favorite now, for sure. For sure, now. Now? Yeah. It changes, right? So that's one of the questions is, it's it's does respect. it get better? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think what it is is respect, right? So, like, um, when he saw that when both of us moved out, we started our adult lives, I I paid for everything myself. Like, I didn't need any more help after, <laughs> after you know, a few years. Like, once in a while, I'd come, like, borrow $100. I'd pay them back with interest. Yeah. I, like had all of these um, values that he had. I'm actually exactly like my dad. Um, so he's he's like, great, I raised a I raised a respectable daughter. And so he'll never say that to my face, but I have to put the words in, in my head, just like you, where I'm like, he thinks very highly of me now. And you confirmed it. Anyway, so. Plus I'm pretty fucking tight and he loves me, so. Yeah, but my brother, he still needed a lot of help. So like he went to college but then didn't get a job from anything he studied. And then like, he was struggling for a while. He lived at home after for a while. Like he- Damn, just roasting yeah, your yeah, brother right yeah. now. He got, he got his girlfriend pregnant and Whoa. then um, they got married, but luckily- Oh yeah, she was jail bait at the time, bro. She, she was, was like, 19 but, and he's 28. But luckily- Sounds nice. They were in love and they made the most adorable fucking nephew I've ever met in my life. And he is it's all uh, worth it. Our godson, but they also shared the honor with five other people, so whatever. So they spread the risk. But he's definitely my mom's favorite for no reason other than him being him. Well maybe he's yeah, just cuter because he's alive. That's literally it. Yeah. There's no rationale. Yeah. And she didn't like how much attention I needed when I was younger, probably. I want to do a PowerPoint presentation to your mom about why you should be the favorite and not not him. It won't change. But you love things. her. You don't love her. The, the Brother, thing, I, no, I want to. I want her mom to love her like we like I we love her. What if, you were, what if you were just a mean kid? Well, I think that's what it was. It wasn't that I was mean. It's that I was. I was like a crybaby. Like my uh, brother would say things like, "Was right." <laughs> no, I'm like, wait, so what? You cried even more? You know how like? Uh, well, what I think. Uh, Girls become more independent quicker. Yeah. So they're uh, we're awesome. They're awesome. Thank uh, you. Two, I feel like it also could be because maybe your mom couldn't have a lot of like guy friends. So that's who like is her you guy friend. Pal, the guy friend. Yeah. You're a crybaby, but you're tough as fucking nails. No, what it was was <laughs> like it loves me. He, has, he, he fucking has your back so brother. hard. Wait. Exactly. <laughs> my brother um, would say things like, you know, when you're like, what do you want to be when you grow up? He'd say things like, I want to be a police. I want to be a chair. <laughs> He'd say I that he be wanted a big to. Chair. He say that he wanted to help people, and my mom was always like, oh my god, he wants to help people. He's a and I was like, boy. What do you want to be, Nikki? I'd be like, I want to be an astronaut because I wanted to do, do cool things on the moon. And then I found out you could suffocate if you take your helmet off. Then I wanted to be an actor. And she was like, oh no. And so she thought like, oh, she wants to be an actor because she wants to be famous. But really, I just wanted to share stories. But anyway, my brother didn't become a policeman, but she still has this thing in her head like, oh, he wants to, all he wants to do is help people. What if it, it is like your she mom loved yeah. to baby and take care and you didn't she didn't yeah. you didn't let her do that because you became independent too fast yes. and then her, your brother, she get to coddle, she gets to still That's continue true. being a mother. Your mom needs That's purpose. True. That's true. He needs her. Could be that. You should have you should have babied more. True. No. Awesome. Oh, my brother's awesome, but he was a little shit about it like you, Nelson. He would be yeah. like, look at what I get to do, and I just had sex with this girl in my room last night, and nobody <laughs> even noticed, and, and you can't like, get no dick. At least you weren't a fucking, fucking narc, great. though. You could have been a narc if you want. I'm narking now. Damn. Everybody, my brother was yeah. a dick. I feel like this sibling rivalry, though, it just doesn't change no matter what. Like. The shit that I hear from my cousins and my mom, and I'm like, dude, y'all are, I thought you would be over it by now. It's like, you're pulling it into Me and my brother old don't have age that. and shit. Me and my brother were fucking tight as shit. Dude, my brother will tell like, you to this, oh. my brother will tell you to this day that I had some special treatment growing up. Yeah, and then when we try yeah. to sit him down and actually try to have him provide an argument for yeah. what my special treatment was, he couldn't do it. He's like, uh, well, one time uh, you, you didn't do the laundry for a week and I had to do it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Wow, bro. Okay. He yeah. just feels like your parents love you more. That's, that's all. I'm mean, just the only extroverted person in my family, so I just you get more attention. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think that's a, a common problem when you internalize your issues and your problems that you have in the moment. So that one time when he had to do the laundry, right. he didn't like voice it out or anything. He's like, I'm fucking doing the laundry. Steve didn't even do it last week, blah, blah. Right. And then like 20 years la later, Steve's like, what happened? And he's like, you you didn't do the laundry that one time one 20 week. years For a week. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, that's... Seven fucking days, bro. Right. Like, I right. think that's another thing too is internalized internalize because I'm five years older than my brother and so I was the guinea pig for a lot of things. And because I was like straight A student, didn't do drugs, didn't party, I didn't even have friends to go out with. Like I was such a good like, like homebody person. But I got grounded for two weeks for not making my bed. It's because they were just like, well, we need to ground her for something. <laughs> and then my brother was fucking up left and right by the time he was that age. And he got the same punishment for drinking alcohol on campus. The same exact punishment. And I'll never let it go. I internalized the shit out of that Did one. Did you bring it up to your parents though? Oh yeah, all the time. Okay, just to further roast your brother, my favorite thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> he always, he tries to be her dad. Right? Oh, he no. puts on the same hat. He tries to drive the same kind of car. He always drives the same truck or whatever. He tries to make and you the can same tell jokes. He doesn't like trucks that much, but you know. He oh, he's just trying to win the approval by the. Day. Yes, and so he's just trying to emulate him. He literally had a kid with. A, uh, he had a kid early, like like your dad did. Uh, so. It, but the funniest thing is, is Nikki doesn't even try and she's exactly like her old man. I didn't want to be like him. I know, and you don't even <laughs> fucking try. It's just like you guys are both talking and it's it's funny hearing you guys talk about the same thing the same way. It's like we're saying it the and same way. And he's sitting there like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like adjusting his hat. <laughs> he can't, but nobody's paying attention. Aww. Oh. I love my brother though. We have a good relationship. It's just that it's true. I was like, you're the favorite and I have to win. <laughs> also, he's my in-law. I got a roast his ass, so you can yeah.